everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Did you know that Canon is buying a chip manufacturer? I didn't. Just recently we found out, I think it was last week, that yes, they are buying a chip manufacturer. Now, we know that there has been this chip shortage. Chip shortage this because of the virus. There's a chip shortage. Where is the chips? No chips. Not just photography or videography, it's all tech. We're having this chip problem. But just yesterday, we saw Apple introduce a brand new iPhone. This is iPhone 13 Pro. An iPad and watch. Well, the iPhone and the iPad are going to use this new A15 Bionic chip. Our silicon is the engine of iPhone. With A15 Bionic, we have innovations across the entire system to deliver more performance and power efficiency. Well, normally during a cycle where they go from an iPhone 11 to an iPhone 12, they order or they get or acquire about, let's say, 80 million chips. This time, when they're going from 12 to 13, we're looking at 95 million chips they're getting. That's a lot of chips. Doesn't seem to be a shortage to me. Interesting, right? Well, just recently we've had a, let's say, family car problem, a transmission problem. I ended up taking the car over to Ford and Ford said, yep, transmission's not working. Luckily, you have a warranty. Thank you. What is the problem? They said, yeah, you have a TCM problem. I'm like, what the hell is a TCM? They said a TCM is a transmission control module. I'm like, all right, we have it under warranty. Please get one for us. Install it. They're like, no problem. We'll go ahead and do that. We're going to rent a car for you. All right. We rented a car. How long do you think we had that car? 31 days. 31 days it took them to get a from Ford, a TCM module. 31 days. Why? Chip shortage. <laughs> Chip shortage. This is not a joke. This is 100% the case. So just a few days ago, we found out that Canon was trying to circumvent this chip shortage by increasing their internal production. Now, how is this going to happen, you ask? Well, simply, they're going to purchase a Canadian-based chip manufacturer. The manufacturer is called Redland. And they've been around since 1999, and they employ about 200 workers. Now, is this a chip manufacturer that will produce camera sensors for Canon? No. What do they produce? Well, Redland is a manufacturer of chips that go into tomography machines, tomography scanners. What the hell is that, right? Basically, it's a CT scanner. A CT scanner stands for computerized tomography. If you go to the hospital, let's say you need an x-ray of maybe your brains like I did when I got fuel poisoning a few months back. You remember that, right? We had a CT scan so they can see if I had Mickey Mouse growing inside of my head, which I didn't, thank God. But that's what a CT scan does. It x-rays the soft tissue so you can see what's going on in there, unlike a conventional x-ray where you can only see the hard material, like bones, metal. So it is very important. So Canon owned 15% of Redland. This is in the past. Now, just recently, they said, you know what? We're going to put out a proposition to them and say, listen, we want to buy the other 85%. Contact your shareholders. They contacted them. The shareholders said, yeah, go ahead and buy it. We want $270 million. Canon said, okay, $270 million sounds great to us. And that's what they're going to do. Purchase Redland. So what makes Redland chips better than everyone else's chips? Basically, Redland chips allow for a detection of x-rays more efficiently. What does that mean? Basically, what that means is Canon is going to be able to make new CT scanners that they can ship to these hospitals that reduce the amount of x-rays that the person in that tube receives by 90%. 90 percent. 90 percent. Not in half, not 20, 90 percent less x-rays. That is massive, guys. How many of these CT scanners do you think Canon will sell? A crap load, right? So how does that affect us? Well, honestly, it doesn't. I think the story is very interesting because it shows that Canon, while it is a camera manufacturer, it's more of an imaging company that people don't realize. They make the lion's share of their income in the medical space and not necessarily in the camera space that we're in. So while that is the case, owning a chip manufacturer is not a bad thing. When they're not making those chips for the CT scanners, maybe, maybe they could start making some other chips for cameras. Who knows? But owning a chip manufacturer during a chip shortage, 
kind of makes sense. And this is what Canon is doing. So that's it for Did You Know Today? I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, throw it a thumbs up. That'll be helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click this little bell icon over here. So when I go live, you'll be notified of it. And don't forget, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. And for staying to the end of this video, get 20% off everything in your shopping cart over at jchristina.com. Dot com. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for you in the vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe and stay healthy. <laughs>